Let's talk for a minute about how freaking lonely entrepreneurship and being a business owner can feel sometimes. And just trying to navigate all of the growth and change that happens so quickly as, as a business owner and how just lonely and overwhelming that can feel. I know personally, that's why I'm so passionate. My, my mantra and the, the leg that I stand on is always nobody has, to, nobody should have to grow their business alone, nor should you try. Because the reality is, is that, you know, as you're growing, there are stages in business that for a lot of us are going to take us places that we've never been. And if you think about it, like, Unless you've been a C-level executive or you've been a business owner in the past, as you're growing your business, most of us have a passion, something that we're incredibly passionate about and we have a skill. And so we take our passion and we take our skill and we combine them and we start charging for it and that becomes our business, right? And so that's really great and it's amazing and it's a beautiful world that we live in that we can do those things and we can create a business like that. But at some point, you're going to hit a wall with that. You can only be and have a passion and your skill is only going to take you so far. And then all of a sudden, revenue is going to be coming in, clients are going to be coming in, and all of a sudden, things on the back end are going to start to kind of fall apart. You're going to start falling behind. There's things that are going to start slipping through the cracks. And you're going to kind of feel like stuck, like, oh my God, I've hit this wall. I don't know how to get beyond it. And that is really where you have to then shift. This is what I call this like shift between being the doer and being the one that's doing all the things and actually stepping in and being the CEO of your business and really looking at your business from a completely different viewpoint. And this doesn't mean that you can't still be the doer, right? Like I'm still the coach, but I also have to now make decisions that are for the best in my company, whether that's pricing decisions, whether it's offer decisions, delegating decisions, um, team decisions, looking at, you know, clients and decisions based on clients. And all of that can be really friggin' hard to navigate. And I'm here to tell you that it doesn't have to be. And so this is something that these topics like this, this is things we talk about all the time inside of the Accelerated Business Alliance. And this is why I'm so passionate about it and why I'm not going to ever stop talking about it because nobody should have to build their business alone. I'm telling you, learning and putting yourself around people that are ahead of you and behind you is so incredibly powerful to navigate all of these changes that are so different and unknown. So stop trying.